This video is part of a paid promotion for StarCraft II Legacy of the Void. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Total Biscuits. We're going to have a little look at the co-op missions, also known as Allied Commander, in the Legacy of the Void expansion for StarCraft II. We've got quite a few missions with myself and Jesse Cox bumbling through the various challenges, and the point of the mode is that you get to pick a commander, and there are six of them up here, and you can level this commander up in order to get new abilities as well as unlock new units, and you can tackle the various difficulties of missions that are available here. So we're going to have a quick look at what these commanders have available to them and the sort of things that you can expect to see. So, we can start off here with Reyna. You should know this fellow, certainly. He is more of an infantry-focused Terran commander, and he has an elite battlecruiser that he can bring down. And these are the units he has available here. You can unlock the battlecruiser as a buildable unit later on, depending on what your level is for your commander. So right now, Rainer is level 2. He's got access to this. And as you can see, every time you level up, you get an upgrade of some sort. So his basic ability is Infantry Specialist. His infantry builds 20% faster, and his barracks build 50% faster. So you're going to be all about Marines, Fire Bats, Medics, all that sort of thing. His level 2 ability is Banshee Airstrike, so you can bring down some Duskwings, which will do damage. And each one of these level ups gives you access to some new tech. So in the case of the upgrade cache, you get a bunch of upgrades for the Firebats and the Medics, as you can see there. If we keep going, the Hyperion gets a point defense drone. There you can unlock your Battlecruiser. There's an Engineering Bay upgrade that gives you automated turrets and life bonuses to bunkers. And you go all the way through to level 15, which is your final upgrade, which is usually something really strong. And in the case of Rayner, 15% attack speed to infantry is insane. Very, very powerful. We can look through some of the other commanders, and we've got Kerrigan here, who's a bit different. The way that Kerrigan and actually Zagara, both the Zerg commanders, work is that they have physical units on the battlefield. So Kerrigan can go and fight on her own. And she's a hero unit, just like in the Heart of the Swarm campaign and, of course, in Heroes of the Storm. And she has the ability to build quite a few fancy Zerg units, including a very very stylish-looking Mutalisk there. It's very nice. And her upgrades, a lot of them are focused on her actual abilities. So at level 2 she gets Immobilization Wave, which is a huge damaging stun, really, really big area of effect. You can upgrade all of her damaging abilities, and you can upgrade things like the Spawning Pool and unlock new upgrades for the Zerglings. The final ability is a huge energy regeneration increase, which is very powerful and will let you use Kerrigan's abilities over and over and over again. There's some really cool stuff here. Artanis, and indeed both of the Protoss commanders have some nice castable spells. Artanis can bring in an orbital strike as well as use a power field anywhere on the map that he can see. So he can warp army instantly into battle. Their warp in time is instantaneous. And he has access to a lot of old school Protoss units like Reavers, Dragoons, the Zealot, a very stylish Zealot with a lot of different upgrades available for him. And here are some of the things we've unlocked. We've got the Guardian Shell upgrade, which is a passive, which prevents death. We've got superior warp gates. You can warp in three units at a time from each warp gate with additional stackable charges. And this gets you a Zealot Whirlwind, which is incredibly strong. And his ultimate ability is to increase his starting supply to 200, so you never need to build pylons. At least not to get supply anyway. So that's a pretty great thing. You can mass Zealots very, very fast and... The, each of these commanders has a very different playstyle, and what's really interesting about it is that since you're going in with a friend, you have two commanders, and those commanders can synergize. So, for instance, with Swan, Swan can actually build a science vessel, and science vessels, they heal mechanical units. So if you go in there with a Protoss player, you can actually heal things like their Stalkers and their Colossus and things like that. And it's the same with Rainer, who can get medics and maybe heal some Zerg units and things like that. So there's a lot of interesting combos, and you get the choice of picking a random mission for bonus experience, or at the moment, five different missions that you can select in the co-op mode. And they're based around missions you probably already played in the previous campaigns, but they're altered for co-op play. So they've got a bunch of different special events that you can do for bonus experience, and you're limited in terms of the units you can build, but you're very specialized. So you're going to be warping in units really fast, you're going to be specializing in different things, and the missions are generally between 15 to 25 minutes long, and when you beat them, you gain experience, which levels up your commander and gives you more stuff. It's as simple as that. So it's a really interesting, fun co-op mode that you can play with a friend that teaches you maybe some of the basics of playing in multiplayer, but it's got 
a lot of different things that you don't get to see in the multiplayer, like old school Brood War units, really cool abilities and spells, and we're going to show you a bunch of that. We're going to show you a lot of different missions and even crank it all the way up to the highest difficulty level. So, without further ado, that pretty much explains how this mode works, so we're going to get in and play it, and I'm going to attempt to corral Jesse Cox in some way. I don't know how well that's going to go, but we'll give it a shot. Void launch. Destroy shuttles. Prevent shuttles from escaping. Which, I guess, works with destroying them? Yeah, I would say so. That's a good way to prevent them from escaping, is that blowing them up, I think. I feel like I understand how to do this. It seems reasonable. All right, let's rock and roll. These shuttles are filled with heretics. Okay. Awful, awful heretics. Is that is that canon, or is that just... That, well, it actually could be, I think... We just gotta take out those heretics. Gotta get get them heretics. So what does your character have? So I have a passive ability, maybe the dullest possible passive ability, but very useful. Like it's not flashy. Vespin gas is automatically harvested from simulators without requiring probes. Okay. Which is kind of great. So I can have less probes and I can get gas quicker. And that means I can get lots of fancy units. That's the plan anyway. We'll see how it ends up turning out. I'm actually going double assimilator before gateway. Just for the sake of it. Well, I have Kerrigan. Ker Kerrigan's, Kerrigan Kerrigan's is Kerrigan. Kerrigan auto mining gas, yes. Kerrigan uh, is in a cocoon right now. She's mm -hmm. resting. Sure. Long night out partying with uh, Jimmy. Destroying worlds and whatnot. Yeah, and of course. I mean, it's, it's a hard life, really. Mm -hmm. And once she spawns, though, she basically has... Kind of the controls of heroes, where it's Q, W, E, and then a, an ulti. Yeah, she plays quite a lot like the campaign version in Heart of the Swarm as well, doesn't she? Yep. Which is great. And so you, when you pick her as your, your commander, as your hero, you basically play her, which is great. That's pretty cool. I have a couple of nice little abilities to play around with. I can summon the Shadow Guard for My Elite Dark Templar. Ready? I can also deploy a dark pylon, grant supply and power and cloaks nearby units and structures, and I can create a black hole. You can just make a black hole? Yeah. Ooh. Now, does it suck them all together? It sucks everybody in by the looks of it, yeah. It pulls mm. enemy units. Okay. So, I don't know if you have something that you can drop on top of that, but I think that would be a yeah, pretty cool Yeah, I was cool hoping combo. that maybe it just pulls them together instead of, like, sucking them in. Oh, wow. I don't have zealots. I have centurions, powerful melee warriors with dark charge. <laughs> The way you said that sold it. Dark charge. These guys are going to be in the front row for Lincoln Park at BlizzCon, I can guarantee it. Well, I have Overlords. That That's great. I mean, they, they're Three useful. of them. So o overlords, are, 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 they're a good thing. About to have five Overlords. Wow. I mean, I'm really impressed. They will destroy anything that comes for me. You this know Overlords can't fight, right? Uh, Death Squad 7 can fight. Uh, you know, giving them a fancy name doesn't give them combat abilities. Uh, are you sure about that? I Have you ever given them a fancy name before? No, I didn't feel like they deserved it, really. <laughs> this is my Centurion. That is, a, that is a fancy, fancy zealot type thing. So he has Shadow Charge. Intercepts nearby enemies, increases the Centurion's movement speed. That's kind of like regular charge. But it briefly cloaks the Centurion. And Dark Coil stuns target enemy ground unit and all ground units nearby for 2.5 seconds. I'm going to get some aircraft because this mission is all about destroying shuttles which are filled of course with heretics. Oh, I'm just going a billion hydras. That just works. A yeah. trillion hydras. L lots of hydralisks. Yeah, sure. Why not? I get some upgrades here. Let's. Okay, we have a warp gate. That's great. I'm going to start getting some upgrades for my aircraft. And get some Corsairs. Yeah. Hmm. Sounds fancy. I'm not sure how useful my Shadow Guard are going to be on this mission. All right, so I have a Corsairs, Void Rays, and Oracles. We're going to build some Corsairs. And in the meantime, this Centurion can go and have a brave attack on these rocks right here. Look at these guys. Look at these overlords. So mean. So vicious. I, I'm not 100% convinced. <laughs> Let's deploy a Dark Pylon. There we go. Ooh. Now I have some cloaked units. Oh, carries up. It's kind of great. Okay, so there is a red dot bleeping on the map. Yep, that's a thing we might want to kill if possible. I have some Corsairs. I can go in that general direction and see I'm what's sending, up. I'm sending the team. 
All right. The overlords. Please tell me it's more than the overlords. No, it's Kerrigan. The All right, okay. Kerrigan. Okay. Oh, there's some there's some marines. All right, my corsairs are. Oh, there are no aircraft, so my corsairs they're just gonna watch from up here. <laughs> they're just they're observing the battle. So impressive. <laughs> yes, thank you. I'm gonna leave Kerrigan right there. Let her do her thing. Get some corsairs. Up. That's what we like to see. All right, upgrades, upgrades, upgrades. All right. You, Queen, I'm gonna need you to do some work. Spawn your larva all up in that business. I think some stalkers might be quite useful here. Okay. But I don't want right. to spend the gas, so you know what? I'm just gonna warp in a few more centurions. I think we have some nonsense coming in our general direction here. Main objective located. It must be destroyed before it escapes. Let's take it out. We don't have long. In the meantime, I'm trying to destroy these rocks so I can take my expansion. I need more gas. More gas. Everything seems okay down here. Oh my! Oh! Oh dear! Oh! What? Oh! What? Ow! What? Ow! What? Ow! What? Ow! So, <laughs> so things they have over there include <laughs> missile turrets, bunkers, more missile turrets, and more bunkers. I just saw that. I just saw that happen. So yeah, I mean, if you wouldn't mind maybe destroying those, then I can what? intercept these shuttles. All and right. Kill well, give them. me a sec. I'm still working on Operation. Get me some hydras. Okay. All right. Turns out Corsair's not good against missile turrets. Good information for the new players around there. Okay, let's upgrade some attacks. Yeah, I'd send my cloaked units in, but they have missile turrets, so that's not going to work very well. Okay, there we go. Get an expansion. All right, the shuttles are now moving into range. Those are large. I don't know if my Corsairs can kill them in time. Apparently, yes, they actually can really, really, really well. Okay, they're dead. <laughs> that wasn't difficult. There's an attack wave coming to the west. I will cloak my units. There we go. We'll have a surprise for them. Hydra Den. Hello, Here we go. dears. You didn't see that one coming, did you? Because you don't have detection. Oh, they're attacking your base. I'm okay. You sure? Yeah, I got invisible guys. They don't know what to do. Are you sure of this? Yeah, I think we're good. Okay. Maybe get a few more centurions in there. We'll definitely do some upgrades. So it turns out Firebat's pretty good against those. No one is too surprised, but never mind. Let's get a couple more Corsairs out. Um, Come on, Hydrogen. Oh, do yeah. I don't do. really need this base for automatic mining, do I? Because the orbital assimilator just works. So I could have just taken that gas immediately. That's a cool, that's a cool tactic. Just like open up with four gas without t even taking the second base. That'd be cool. Oh, there's another warp conduit we need to worry about. You want to scout that area and see if there's any anything around there that uh, may kill yeah, us? Yeah, I mean, I got my little zerglings over here, so we'll go look. I get my fleet beacon up. I imagine yeah. they're about to run to their death, but good news is they're okay with that. Yeah, they'll be fine with that. Also, they're going to be pretty useless on a shuttle. Yeah, I'd say so. But you can deal with the ground stuff. And Just jump really high, guys. You can do it. It seems like there's plenty of nasty-looking stuff there. Wait, so what is... Research vessel. Escort the scientists to the Zelnaga shrines. Oh, no. Hmm, okay, uh, shall I... Uh, I could split my forces up. No, I'm going to send my guys. Oh, no. Uh, there's stuff on the ground here. So I can, I can keep my guys here, and I'll definitely be able to kill the shuttles. That's fine. Looks like the enemy is heading for us. Let's go say hello. Why it would be flying over in that direction, it I don't know. It is walking into the danger zone. That's not a great. I'm going to deploy a dark pylon, and I'm going to bring oh, you some support here. Oh, we got some Amon forces. Have some Shadow Guard. There we go. Wrecked. There we go. That should, that, those are crazy good. Okay. Okay. So we are literally going to have to go We're into actually going to have to go and attack, yes. All right, Carrie, let's do it. I'll Jump on that business. I sent my Corsair, and there we go. I put Disruption Web down, which has disabled the missile turret. And then I can send my Shadow Guard in to help you out here. Okay, and then... Did we kill the shuttles? Throw up the D! I assume we did. Yep, the, the shuttles are very, very dead. All right, I'll, I'll bring the rest of my so army scanning across the now. relic. That seems okay. Yes, thanks for scanning the relic in the middle of all this nonsense. Oh, my, one, my little one Corsair here is uh, doing a fine job. Right. I'm about, my Shadow Guard are about to leave, so... Apparently they're on well, a tight schedule. I have a schedule. whole bunch more guys spawning right now, so we should be good, I think. Well, I managed to fly all of my units over missile turrets and lost most of them, so that was great. 
Well, Kerrigan, I'm gonna keep her there as defense for now. All right, disruption web. Okay, so there's actually a bunch of upgrades that I can get for these units, but not until I reach a higher commander level. So I do need to watch out for that. I probably want to work on some stuff on the ground as well, because uh, I'm not that useful. I totally forgot I had made another base. Yeah, Good me. Upgrade Twilight Council. I like to see. Good. All right. So that is one research. He's leaving. Okay. That's that's fine. All right, I'm gonna send these guys here. I'm gonna send these guys down here. I'm gonna send my aircraft back in this direction. And I guess I'm gonna. I'm just gonna roam with Carrie. Yeah, by all means. See what there is, because she can handle it. I'm gonna build some stuff to help you fight on the ground. We could start to blow those bases up, rather than just have to sit around. That's a Goliath, and it's very dead. All right. Queen of Blades, do what you do. All right, we got incoming. Damn! Damn! All right, I'm moving to intercept on All the right. warp conduit to the west with my aircraft, so I can deal with that. Looks like you're having some fun over there. Yeah, I'm just gonna walk back and. I can. I can help you. Here's a cloak. That should make things a little easier for you. Your Hydra should deal with that, no problem. Yeah, so my my Corsair should kill Great. the shuttles without too much of a problem, I think. So I've just left them on an interception path. In the meantime, we'll look at... Wow! All these upgrades. Okay, so I can get all manner of crazy stuff. Let's get Dark Coil. Ooh. That certainly sounds fancy. I might want a couple more gateways. So we can build some more. So many Hydras. So many Hydras. And they're cloaked too, which is not too, de too bad, really. Well, those shuttles should hopefully die almost instantly with eight upgraded Corsairs sitting there waiting for them. I don't think we should have too many problems. I'm going to build some more Void Rays, because I have a feeling they're going to start to throw some nastier aircraft at us. I don't know if my Corsairs what? can handle it. <laughs> what? I don't know where I got that idea from. Uh, are you saying this is going to get harder over time? I mean, I think it's possible. I don't. I don't know if that's a feature. But Nothing I'm is I'm difficult going when going to it make comes the to assumption that it is. Death Squad 7. Oh, hello, Banshees. You're all very, very dead. Oh, my. That is very unfortunate for you. Corsairs are very good on this mission. <laughs> All right, all the shuttles to the west are dead. How are you doing over there? Good. Reasonably well, yes. Well Nothing done. to really worry about there. Just That's good. Just hiding out and vizzed. Having a good old time. Okay, here comes another shuttle. I'm going to go escort them. Yep, you go do that. By destroying everything. I'm going to send some ground forces in and cause some mayhem over here. The dark coil stun is. Oh, there's cool. nothing left over oh, can here. Can I put a pylon up there? Oh, <laughs> I can bring in pylons almost anywhere, and I could just warp in units. So this is great. Hello, here have some centurions. There we go. Now I'm going to give them shadow charge. Right. We could do some upgrades for them too. Actually, Queenie, let's get double I'm going to need you to just go ham on this. There we go. Void rays, void rays, void rays, void rays, void rays, void rays, void rays. The answer to uh -huh. those things. Yeah, void rays. So what you're saying is... Void rays. Void rays. Void rays. Rays of void. Also, have some Dark Templar. So these Corsairs are pretty great because, as it turns out, anything that tries to shoot them just gets disruption webbed and they die. So I am doing fairly well over here. Things are going nicely. Excellent. I am sending Kerrigan in to ruin things. And throw down the D! All right, we've got shuttles incoming. I don't anticipate that they will live very long. You know, I'm half tempted to use that dark pylon to warp in some cannons in the direct line of fire. I think that'd be great. Let's get some more void rays. We got shuttles. Oh no, Carrie, get out of there. They had shuttles. They don't anymore. Incoming shuttles. Looks like. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Dead, dead, dead. Are you okay over there? Oh, I'm super okay. These guys, they're just trying to, to play now. Shuttle is toast. Oh, get out of town. I'm going to say. One guy made it through. There we go. I'm going to uh, add some cannons in this direction. All right, so my Centurions now have a bunch of fun stuff. Oh, my, the charge is insane. There we go. So that's that dead. Oh, there's a shuttle. Hi, I left Kerrigan to her own uh, devices. What, what are you doing? Why the shuttle is almost there? Oh dear. Oh god. Okay, I'm I'm on my way, but why is this? It's getting away. No, we're not going to have any of that. Thank you very much. 
Here, have a dark pile on underneath it. You got it. I got it. Just you got it. Can't trust you. Well, you know, that's your, that's your mistake. All right, those those things are dead. Ooh, okay, we're fine. Uh, also, we're being killed. No, no, no. Your hydras are doing it. Living the no, dream. No, they're really not actually. <laughs> Living the dream. Nope, not in the slightest way. It's Is fine. that true? Okay, let me let me bring you in some help. No, I'm good. Kerrigan's up. Okay. Get her. Off you go. These guys are so well upgraded. Ooh, okay, let's get that upgrade. Okay, so we've got more incoming, but this time I, I'm surrounding that area, so I don't... Ooh, yeah. I All think, right, I think we'll be fine. I wouldn't worry about it. <laughs> I think we should be just fine here. But I'm coming there to help, though. If you feel like you need to. I do feel like I need to. I'm going to stack up a few more void rays. And we can have another dark pylon. You know, I don't find the term dark pylon all that intimidating. I don't know about you. I, I think it's descriptive. It is. What kind of pylon is that? Pretty dark. It's a dark pylon. It's it's almost like saying, Pretty I have an evil wall outlet. Ooh, yeah. spooky. It provides you with dark powers. Dark powers. It's a haunted USB connection. All right, here we go. Let's get some action up in here. They come. That's a lot of dead stuff they're now suffering. They are throwing actually quite a lot at us. I'm sending my uh, definitely are. aircraft in to go and in intercept that. And my dark pylon just went down. Just awful. Terrible. Kerrigan just took them all out by herself. She cares not for your rules. I love this new blink ability. So when I blink, I actually get temporary shields, which I thought is pretty great. Oh, new research vessel on the way. Good. I'll go escort them. Head out in this general direction. It's like, where are they going? They're going this way? Oh, Ooh, they're going right by your stuff. Oh, you're fine. Yeah, I'll be all right. I have, like, three photon cannons down there, so that should be helpful. You know, I'm tempted. Should we just blow up the Terran base at this point? I think we that's what I That's what I want to do, but yeah, they've got some, some heavy artillery I, up in there. I've got some heavy oh, artillery, whoa. too. Let's, uh, I'm going to head on up here, and I'm going to do some damage, I think. I got this. Yeah, you, if you can deal with that, that would be great. And I'll just go and blow up the Terran base. Easy peasy. Hello, Disruption Webs. You're pretty cool. I like you. Have a black hole. And in the middle of this black hole, <laughs> Dark Templar. Allow it to escape. That should work fairly well, right? I'm going to stay here and just escort this shuttle and make sure They're, it's all good. I, s I was about to say they have battle cruisers, but now it would be more accurate to say they had battle cruisers. Oh, these DTs are ridiculous. Absolutely love it. I did lose a lot of my army doing this, but I think I've killed most of their base in the process, so I think it was worth it. Well, Go, my guys are basically fully upgraded right now, so... We got shuttles incoming. It's all good. That's fine. Research vessel's almost done. Yeah, I, I don't think those shuttles should be too much of a problem. About halfway, I'm going to send these guys up to... go. Actually, I'm going to keep them right in the base. I want energy for another dark pylon. I guess I'm not going to get that anytime soon. All right, a bunch of stalkers. I was about to call them dark stalkers, then I realized that would be copyright infringement, so let's not do that. All what? right. The dark stalkers from the dark pylon with the dark templars? We got a lot of stuff coming in the middle here. Oh, I see it. A lot of ground stuff, too. Ooh, yep. Probably not good for carry. All right, I'm going to send these guys right here to defend. Whoa, whoa. All right. Corsair's coming in. I'll do some You know damage. what? D! Yep. Recky Becky. Anything that works right now. It's down. We're good. All dead? Great. Wonderful. Gonna go try and take these guys down here. That's what I like to say. There is one wave of shuttles remaining. I think they've, they've finally brought in enough stuff that they can maybe kill me. I don't know, though. They just continue to spawn units. They're bringing in battle cruisers over and over again. These if I destroy that fusion core, get, get out of here! Get out of here! Oh, there's the shuttle. Okay. There you go. Have some of this. Oh, they cancelled the warping. If at first you don't succeed, spawn overpowered units. Apparently. That's. I mean, my strategy. All right. The shuttles are coming in on the final wave. Okay. What else can I upgrade? I think I'm good. I think I've done everything I can do right now, except for just build a legion of angry hydras. 
It is a good day to die. Main objective located. It must be destroyed before it escapes. Warriors, we shall ensure its destruction. All right, moving to intercept. Let's see what they've got. I have a lot of Corsairs, but they also have battle cruisers. Those aren't fun. Corsairs don't do a lot of damage to BCs. Come on, Queen of Blades, let's do this business. I think we're good, though. Ooh, they're going over the side, too. Okay, can you deal with those? I got it. Okay, I've got the ones to the left. Let's get another dark pylon up in here. Ow, ow, that's a lot of ow. Wow, they got battle cruisers. Get out, get out of here. Get out of here with these things. All right, we got incoming, but I think we'll be fine. Kerrigan just jumped on your battle cruiser. Shut up. All right, Shuttles just died, pulling our units back. Well, that was violent. Here you go. Have some more of these Centurions. Oh, who are these guys? What do you want? That should cause you a few problems, I think. What do you even want? Why are you attacking us? All right, more shuttles coming in. I'll deal with the middle shuttles if you can deal with the right. We just wanted to live together as friends. In perfect harmony. Toss and Zerg. You've got incoming on your base position. They've just been sitting there the entire oh, time. Oh, yeah, there's like actually two battle cruisers. I don't know what they're trying to do, but they're chilling. Yeah, if you can maybe get an army over there to deal with that. But oh, I, I think we'll be okay, though. The shuttles are about to come in and get blown to pieces, so. Yeah, they are. I'm not too worried. Yeah, Go the carry. shuttles just went down. No evacuation for you. And I think that is about it. Zero escape. Awesome. Great. Demolished. Love it. <laughs> Yay! I wish that I could have those ridiculous Dark Templar that I can warp in at will that teleport all over the place and slice people into tiny little kibbles. That would be great. In real life is what you're saying? It could be good there too. 